Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to take this image here which is 1200 by 960 and I'm going to try to enlarge it enough to be able to engrave on an 8 by 10 canvas. So the way I do that is I take that image and I go to waifuxl.com and I upload my image okay now that the image is uploaded just simply go over here to upscale and choose how much of an upscale I'm gonna go with 4x click upscale and then that takes about five or ten minutes for the website to process the image so I'll do another fast forward okay the website has now processed the image one thing that's kinda of cool is if you take and grab this little center line here and you can move it around and you can see the before on the left and the after on the right and it does a really good job so now that we've got it enlarged and upscaled I'm going to go ahead and download that file and I will fast forward you again to the next part and here we are over at Imager. I'm going to use this to prepare the image for engraving. I've never actually used this, so this is my first time. I usually use Photoshop, but I know a lot of people don't have that. So I guess we'll start with upload our image. Here we are. Okay, the image is uploaded. Now I think the next step will be crop, but I already it's already cropped, so I'll go to resize. I'm going to change this to inches, make sure we get the right dimensions. So it's a 10 inch width and an 8 inch height, so that's right. And then I'm going to change the dots per inch to 317 to match my laser dot size. And I guess OK. looks pretty good. I'm not going to do any adjustments since I don't really know how to use any of these but I am going to change the material Norton and let's see Norton white tile painted black I think that's what we want okay it's already inverted and everything's ready to go okay so I'll download that as a PNG. All right, I'll s I'll go ahead and fast forward to the next part then. Okay, here we are in Lightburn. So I'll go ahead and upload that image. Here it is. I did a few tests earlier on a separate canvas and I came to the speed of 14,000 millimeters a minute and 35 percent power I'm going to use 5 percent over scanning and 0 0.08 for my laser dot okay that all looks good I'm going to choose Jarvis I think that's everything and that looks like that's it and it's going to take 55 minutes not too bad alright so I will go ahead and put it on the machine and get the engraving started okay quick setup for this uh, this canvas is 8 by 10 the first layer I did was one layer of white followed by two layers of orange and then a final layer or a final two layers of black
And here's the final result. I think it came out pretty good. Uh, it's kind of an example of why I don't really like using um, canvas because you can really see the texture. And I think it, it, it makes it hard to get a lot of the detail. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Over, over burned a little bit up here around the uh, sun. And there's a few places that are a little washed out. I probably could have dialed in the settings just a little bit better. But I think it shows that you can take a small image and enlarge it and be able to get a decent engraving. And there you have it. I hope you got something out of this video and it was useful. And as always, until next time, take care.